What's up guys and welcome back to another multi-boxing tutorial. In today's tutorial we want to learn how to set up click heals inside of IS Boxer to basically heal our tank while not leaving our tank. So he's getting wailed on by multiple mobs and I want to be able to just like heal him without him dying. And this will be super helpful in dungeons so you can just keep playing the tank and not have any problems. So first things first, you can see I have my normal party frames here and I don't want that to happen. So what we're gonna do is actually change these party frames to raid frames. So I hit Shift Alt R on my keyboard to turn on full broadcast. We're gonna go to our menu. We're gonna go to our interface options, click on raid profiles and use use raid style party frames. And then click all these buttons down here to set it up that way. You may have already done this or use some other form of uh, frames for your multi box which will also work with this method. I personally like using the regular RAID frames. And you'll see why here in a second. So the next step is to download an add-on called Click. Basically what this means is you can keybind stuff to your mouse or clicking to your normal party or RAID frames. So basically you open up your spell book on any character. It adds a new little option right here called Click Binding Configuration. And you can just click on stuff and bind tools or keys to that. So what we're going to do is jump over to our priest right here, this fellow right here, and we're going to set up click. He only has one healing move so far, so it'll be super simple. But going forward in the future, obviously you can add a whole combination of different healing moves. So what we want to do is we want to bind left click to lesser heal. So left click this, as you can see, lesser heal rank one is set to left button. Um, well, we're going to right click this and do remove spell rank. So it just kind of ranks up automatically over time. And for good measure, we're also going to right click this to add it to the right click button. Um, as you can see, it is conflicting with target clicked unit. So normally you would left click somebody, it would target that person and also right click show unit menu. Um, you can do two things. So basically you can leave it the way it is and you can alt left click or shift left click and it will, um, fix that for you or alt right click shift right click and normally now your click heals are set up on your raid frames so i can left click right click everybody gets healed no problem or what i personally like to do is to go into click and actually change these bindings so i'll go to right click change binding alt left click accept same thing for this right click change binding alt right click to do that so these are assigned to alt and left right click because eventually I'm going to set up shift left click shift right click to different moves you know the priests have a lot of different tools you have prayer of healing uh, bubble renew greater heal flash heal so now if I alt click we're good to go but now how do I <laughs> set up the clicks from my tank um, there's this option inside of is boxer called video effects which is a super helpful tool for creating something like this. So let's jump back over to our priest um, and actually do Control Shift Alt G, which opens up this new dialog box from IS Boxer for creating uh, this thing called video effects. So we'll click the video effects tab. We will drop down on source and call it heals for now, and then click add. Basically what this is doing is it's like, hey, what do you wanna select? So I wanna copy his raid frames from the priest. And you can change the size of this to fit whatever you want. And then click save as. And I always leave it at auto because if you save it as auto, it automatically loads when you open up your IS Boxer in the future. So this has been created. We'll do shift, uh, control shift alt G one more time, closes it. Let's jump back over to our tank and click control shift alt G and jump over to video effects. Again, drop down on viewer instead of source this time because we want to view the source. We'll drop down on the name, we'll find heals, and we'll click add. As you can see, it adds this little box. We can hold control to see a preview, and this is the priest. So what we wanna do now is actually click this little thing right here called repeater pass through. Very useful for the future. Click apply, and then make this a little larger. Let's make it pretty big on screen so it's easy to see. Obviously, you can make this smaller later. Uh, and then hit save as. Now let's click Control shift alt G one more time. And as you can see, there's this giant mouse hovering above our screen. Basically what's happening here is when I hover over this right here, I'm actually hovering over the priest. If you look to the right, you can see on the priestess screen over on number five that he's hovering over his raid frames. So what I can do is just click and heal my guy. Everybody's still following me. I'm gonna park my tunes here 
And I'm going to start attacking these wolves. This is fine. Oh, my health is going down. Oh no, but I can heal. And I can cast these spells. And that is how you set up click heals for multiboxing. There is a more advanced way to do this, but personally, I'm not a fan because I feel like video effects is extremely powerful because it's not limited to healing. I can copy over whatever I want from any other person's screen. So basically, Decursive right here, which is a great add-on for decursing people. Pretty much everybody uses it if you raid. Um, you can copy this with video effects and just put it on your tank and have your decurses right there with your mouse. Also, for a mage, you could add Frost Nova. You could literally copy a little screen down here for Frost Nova. Or, you know, for your Warlock, your Fear. Uh, if you wanted to copy a bunch of different uh, frames from your, uh, your Priest, like these frames right here, like AoE Fear, Resurrect. Uh, you could copy tons of stuff and put it all into like a little build over here for your multi-box which I would like to do for my main guys, which I have a full 60 team for dungeoning and have like a, all the little buttons right here that I like to quickly click with my mouse to uh, play this game. So that is how you set up heals on your multi box. It's super simple, a super easy way to do it. And uh, I like it, it works really well. In the future videos um, that should already be created, check the description for more. Um, we'll be going over how to create AOE spells. There's also a full multi-boxing setup tutorial and a couple other videos I have planned for the future. As always, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being part of the channel. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next Warcraft video. Peace. <laughs>